Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we're going to be doing my Conference League tier list for this year's Conference League. So we're going to go ahead and do this, guys. Like I said, guys, um, I want you guys to do this in the comments below. I did the tier list of the group stage. I just added the eight teams that dropped down from the Europa League. So obviously, it's self-explanatory. S is like the best. A is like good. B is like decent. C is like average. D is like horrible. And F is like failure. So let's start. Let's start with the champions, Olympiacos. They're obviously nasty. I mean, the path they had to this final was insane. They had a very difficult path. They had to take down Aston Villa. They had to take down, um, what is it called? Um, I'm trying to remember the team name of uh, Ferenbache. They got 99 points in the league season. And they had to take down, uh, what is it called? My Tel Aviv. They were 4-1 down. And they, they have to be nasty. They have to be simply S. And it, it's, it, it's outstanding. Fiorentina for me. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. Fiorentina, for me, had a very... I wasn't convinced with their path. Because in the round of 16, they played against... Um, I think it was it against... Um, um, actually, let me check. Round of 16, who did they play against? Round of 16. Because they had a bye. They had a bye. Round of 16, they played against Mykeba Haifa. They struggled to beat Mykeba Haifa. Then the quarterfinals, they played against Victoria Pleasant. Managed to get through. Out of the semifinals, they just about scraped through against Club Rouge. And then here they are in the final. Honestly, guys, this might seem harsh, but I'm going to put them B. I'm going to put them B. Just because I feel like, yeah, they had a good run, but they were making it too close. I was very unconvinced of how Fiorentina did it. And they weren't really like... I felt like they only got this far because the draw was kind. If the draw was harder, they probably don't make the final. That's why I put them in the semi. That's why I put them in B. As a losing finals, even though I should probably put them A. Uh, next up, it is Aston Villa. Aston Villa, for me, they topped the group. Um, um, now, to be fair, Fiorentina did top the group, so maybe I should give them that. But then again, like I said, they weren't really that convinced the group stage. Three wins, three draws. They just about did it. Aston Villa, on the other hand, I will give you that. They did well in the group stage. Only had one draw, uh, four wins. Round of 16, they took care of business against Ajax. Um, and then obviously the semifinals, they did manage quarterfinals. They did have to struggle against Lille, but they managed to get through. But then they got absolutely clapped against Olympiacos. So for Aston Villa, I will give them an A. At least they had more of a convincing. They were more convincing in their performances. But I'll give like a low A-ish. A low A-ish. Okay. And then the other semifinals we have here is Club Rouge. I think Club Rouge did fantastic. I think they did really well. I thought they were very unlucky against Fiorentina. I thought they played well. It's just they couldn't finish. And yeah, I just think uh, Club Rouge put up a fantastic performance. You know, got past Polk, defeated Molde, and you know they came uh, top the group as well. And yeah, I think Club Rouge. There isn't really much more they could have done, you know. And, and they did the best that he could. They could, and they, they did fantastic. They did fantastic, man. So for me, it's a. I, 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 I honestly, I would even far as to say they might be the second best team in this year's Conference League, which is crazy to say. Um, now we move on to quarterfinals. The quarterfinals we got here, it is Ferenbache. I think Ferenbache did decent for their expectations. They got to a quarterfinals. Yes, it was a bit disappointing. They didn't get to the semis, but I thought they did well in the group. I thought they did well overall. And yeah, so Ferenbache for me, I am going to give the... Where's the Ferenbache badge? Hold up, is it not here? Oh, it's right there. Bruh, I'm such stupid. I'm going to give them an A. I thought they were fantastic, and honestly, I think they, uh, they, uh, they, they did well. But they, they just unfortunately lost to um, Olympiacos in a very tough manner, and they only went out on pens. So, gotta give them that. Uh, next up, it is the other quarterfinals we have here, and I believe it is. Uh, let me just quickly just check, just to jog my memory. Uh, quarterfinal we quarterfinals we have here is Polk. Um, uh, Polk, I thought they did well in the competition. You know, they managed to get to a quarterfinals, probably against the odds. Um, you know, they did top the group over Frankfurt. And so I think for Polk, honestly, I, 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 I think they did well. I think they did really well, honestly, in this competition. And yeah, I, I, I gotta get them an A, um, for this one. I think they did fantastic. Um, the only issue I had was that they kind of got blown away. Against uh, Paul, uh, Club Rouge, like they allow Club Rouge to dominate them with ease. But other than that, I mean that that's just uh, like they did they did it fantastic. You can't you can't argue against that. 
Lille, I thought Lille were good in this competition. Now, I was a bit sad Lille went out in the quarterfinals because I feel like they should have maybe made the semis. They were that much better against Aston Villa, but truth be told, they, they did bad. They did well. I think this is a respectable finish for Lille, got to get into a quarterfinals, and yeah, they, they, they lose out to Aston Villa, and it was very unlucky. They, it was came down to Penn, so yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't think you could really be that critical there. And then the final team we got here, it is Victoria Pleasant. Um, Victoria Pleasant, I'll probably give them like a B. Um, I can't give them an A, honestly, because even though they were great throughout the competition, um, Victoria Pleasant for me, actually, to be fair, maybe I should give them an A because they, they only conceded one goal throughout the competition. They did top the group round of 16. They did get past Servette, but they did have it to kind of go through on pens. They only did it on pens and you could make arguments Servette should have beaten them. So. You know what? I'm going to keep it at B. I'm going to keep it at B. I'll give like a high B-ish. A high B-ish, like just about below, but yeah. Okay, now we move on to round of 16, guys. Round of 16 we got here. Um, Storm Graz. Storm Graz, I thought they did well. You know, they destroyed Sylvain Bats' play. They came second in a group. A very difficult group. I think that was uh, with the uh, Adelanta Sporting. So I, I think for a Storm Graz, I'll probably give them like a B. Uh, B is, I think, reasonable. You know, they did good. Not quite amazing, but I think they did good, so I'll give them a B. I think B is fair. Uh, next up it is, and they lost against Leo, which is a superior team, so you can't really be critical of that one. Uh, next up, the other team we got here in round of 16, we got here, it is Union St. Galos, Union SG. I thought Union SG did fantastic throughout the competition. You know, they managed to get past Frankfurt, and they came third in a very difficult group, and they had Liverpool in the group. Now, to be fair, I'm not going to look at the Europa League performances. I'm only strictly looking at the conference league. But the fact they were able to upset Frankfurt is commendable. So I'm going to give Union SG a probably like a B. I think a B is fair. Um, I can't give them like a higher than a B because unfortunately went out of the round of 16, but they did well. So you, you got to give them that. Uh, next up it is Mike Haiba Haifa. I thought Mike Haiba Haifa did decent. You know, they only lost to uh, Fiorentina in a close game. And they did manage to get past Ghent, which I thought was incredible. So I'll give them like a B. I thought they were great, and I think they had great value to make the round of uh thirty the round of sixteen. I thought it was good, and they lost against Fiorentina, which is the superior team. Uh, next up, round of sixteen, we got here. It is so we did a strong we did strong gauze already. Uh, we did uh uh what is it called? Now Makeba Tel Aviv. We just did, well we haven't done Makeba Tel Aviv actually. Where's Makeba Tel Aviv? Let's do Makeba Tel Aviv. Where are they? Are they not here? Okay, they are there. Um, they did top the group. They did top the group consisting of with Gank, which I thought was incredible. Sorry, Ghent, which was incredible. And then the round of 16, yeah, they got destroyed. They did manage to win the first leg like, 4-1 away, but then they got blown away the second leg. So um, I'll give them a B because they did top the group. Uh, but that's it. It's like a low B-ish because even though they did top the group, they still... It didn't really mean much for the round of 16. They got absolutely blown away. So, yeah, I, I'll give them a B. I thought B is decent for them. Maybe I'll just give maybe a C, actually. Maybe a C. You know what? I'll give like a high end to C. A high end to C, I'll give. I'll give a high end C. A high end C. I think a high end C is fair. Um, next up it is. So, let's see. We're going to do Molde. Um, I, I'd say Molde did decent. You know, um, you know, round of 32, they defeated Legia Warsaw convincingly. Um, and then, obviously, in the round of 16, they did uh, lose to Club Rouge. And then, obviously, they came for the Europa League. So, I think for Molde, I'll give like a C. I think C is probably fair. Uh, I think C is probably fair. I'll give them a C. Okay, next up it is um, Ajax. Ajax, for me, I'm sorry. They were like a C. Uh, C. They barely scraped through against um, Bodo Glimt. And then, in the quarterfinals, round of 16, got absolutely clapped against Aston Villa. So... Yeah, for me, for Ajax, it's simply a, simply a C. Um, I'm even generous there with saying that C because you could even put an argument for D. You know what? I'm going to actually put them in D. I'll put them in D because I thought they were very unconvincing. Uh, very unconvincing. So I'll, I'll give them like a D. And I'll actually put my Kibitil be like a C right there. And maybe I'll adjust some of the rankings there. So I'll put Plog. Um, yeah, I'll put Plog there a little. I'll just degrade them a bit. Okay, next up it is uh Servet. Servet for me, I'm putting them like 
Um, Europa League, they did. Okay, who did they beat in the Europa League round of 32? So Ivan managed to beat Ludogratz on the road. And, okay, you know what? That That is commendable. That is commendable. They they did take it to uh, Pens against Victor Pleasant. So you know what? That, that, that warrants a beat. I think I warrants a beat. Sure, they were a bit too defensive for my liking. I they should have scored more goals, but the defensively they were good. So I, I gotta get them put them B. I gotta put them B. I, I gotta be respectful there. Okay, so which other clubs went out in the round of 16? Um just looking back here, guys. So obviously there's too much to remember. Um we got Dinamo Zagreb. Dinamo Zagreb went out in the round of 16. So and I think that's the final club. Yeah, I think that's the final one, guys. Final one. So final club. Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, let's see. In the group, groups in the round of the, in the group stage, they came second in the group. Okay, they defeated Real Betis. Okay, um, and then in the quarterfinals, round of sixteen, they did manage to win the first leg, but then they got absolutely destroyed the second leg. So I think Dinamo Zagreb had a good competition. It's just the way they kind of ended exit out. It's a bit kind of bad. But ultimately, I think they had a good competition. So I'll probably put them like a B. Um, I'll probably put them like a high. I'll probably put them like a B. Uh, probably like maybe like around here. Uh, because they did kind of as as far as expectations are concerned. And yeah, so I, I think I think you got to give them that. So I'll put them B. Now we look at the clubs that went out in the round of 32. Uh, Real Batiste for me was simply poor. Real Batiste is a D. I was very disappointed with them. And against um, Dinamo Zagreb, they were very disappointed. And they lost at home. Sure, they're able to get a draw the second leg, but they needed to win. So, for me, he's a D. Uh, Frankfurt, I thought, were really poor. I thought Frankfurt were simply poor. They managed to get past the group stage in second place. And then they got upset in the round of 32. So, for me, Frankfurt, very disappointing. They were simply a D. Uh, for me, uh, next up, it is Ludogorets. Now, Ludogorets is a bit tricky because... They were a bit unlucky, and perhaps they should have gone through, but ultimately they didn't. So, uh, I, I I think a D is a bit harsh, so I'll probably pick like a low end C, but that's like really generous. I'm being very generous at a low end C. Uh, Bodo Glimt, I thought Bodo Glimt were good. Honestly, I think Bodo Glimt were great. I thought they were very unlucky against Ajax. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably put like a low B ish. I thought they were good value. Uh, but it's just unfortunate that the Hayek's just managed to uh, uh, made it through in quite uh, close fashion because I thought Bodo Glimp for me were the better team. I, I think Ajax were kind of lucky to make it through um, in that game. Okay, so let's see. What other round of 16 are we missing here? Round of 32 we're missing. Round of 32. So we did it for uh, Frankfurt already. We did – we had, oh, Slavia and Batisabay. Let's do that one real quick. So in Batisabay, they obviously came second in Group A. Um, they did it quite good fashion. Uh, but then in the round of 32, they got absolutely destroyed against Sturm Gas. So, yeah, I think for Slovenia and Batisabay, I'll probably put like a C. Um, actually, maybe a C is a bit harsh. Yeah, I'll put them a C. Actually, I'll put them a C. Um, I'm debating where do I put. Do I think they did better than Ludogratz or worse? I actually think Ludogratz did better. I think Slovenia by Slovenia didn't do as well as I thought they would at the knockout stage. Um, Legere Warsaw, you got to give them that. Legere Warsaw did come through second place in a group with Kisti AZ Alkamar and, and Aston Bowe. So, you know, for that alone, I think they're going to be a B, but let's be real. In the round of 32, they got absolutely destroyed. So I, I can't put them anything more than a B. Uh, I think B is even being very generous there, uh, but I, I got to give them B because AZ Alkamar is a really solid team. They've they're a good conference team. They've done really well the recent years. So, yeah. Now, the Ferenc Varos for me, um, they came second in the group with, what was the group again? Uh, Fiorentina, Ferenc Varos, Gank, and Kukurachi. They managed to come through in second, kind of like against the odds, to be fair. Maybe you could argue. And then the round of 32, they just about, they lost to Olympiak. was a quite bad fashion. So, I'll say for Ferenc Varos, it's probably going like to C. Uh, maybe you could potentially argue like a low B ish, but I'm gonna put them to C. I'm gonna put them to C. I think, um, they kind of disappointed, and I think that's all the teams. So, the rest of the teams I believe we have here went out in the group stage. Went out in the group stage. Sorry, Ghent, Ghent, Ghent went out, didn't go on the group stage. Um, as far as Ghent is concerned, uh, I'm gonna put Ghent. Let's see, though. I'm let me check the group again, guys. So, Ghent came. 
Ghent came second of the group with Makeba Tel Aviv Zora Linisk. Uh, I I think I'm gonna give them uh, maybe a C. It's average, um, not to anything too special, um, but yeah, I I, I think Ghent were kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie, because I felt like they should have done better against um. McKay Tel Aviv because they lost the final match day, which is why McKay Tel Aviv actually topped the group. Uh, that round of 32, they kind of disappointed against McKay Haifa. So, yeah, I, I think for Ghent, I'll give them like a C right now. Okay, now let's look at the clubs that went out of the group stage. So, KI for me, I, I think D is really harsh. I think they did well. I'm sorry, not DF. I, I can't put them F, so I'm going to put them D. I thought they did well, but I can't really put them anything higher than a D. Uh, Olympia, probably like a D as well. Uh, they did the best they could. They were unlucky. So yeah, uh, Group B, Zora Linus. I think they gotta be in it. Um, they gotta be uh, a D as well. They were poor, but they put up good fights. So I'll put them like a D. Um, I'll put them like above uh, these two teams because they did accumulate more points than those two teams. Uh, uh, Bresselbeck. I'm sorry to do this Bresselbeck, but I have to put them in F. I have to put them in F because they didn't do anything. They did not do anything. They got zero points which is really bad. And I understand people are going to tell me, oh, it's their debut and all that. But still, man, they were just so horrendous. They were so bad um, at everything. And I'm, I have to do this. I know it's painful to do this, but I have to do this. I have to be fair. I have to put them out. Um, Astana. Astana for me, uh, probably put them like a D. I thought they were poor, but yeah, it's just not that good. Balkani. I think Balkani, actually, I'm going to put them D as well. I thought they were decent, but yeah, like expectations higher for us than the Malkani. Like, let's be real. So, yeah, I'll put them that. And then Besiktas. Besiktas for me, I'm sorry they were F. I'm sorry they were F. I know it might seem harsh to put them F because they did manage to get four points, but they were really bad for majority of the games. And they even got smashed at home, man. Smashing at home is just disgraceful. And they even got destroyed at home, so sorry for me. Besiktas is an F. Lugano, I'm actually going to put them in D, which might surprise some people. Um, I just think Lugano for me, even though they did finish in fourth behind Besiktas, I thought Lug Lugano for me were better than them. Actually, maybe I should put them both F. I'll put them both F. I'll put Lugano better than Besiktas, though. AZ Alcamar, I'm sorry, it's a, it's, a, it's a failure. It's a failure because they shouldn't be getting grouped in that group. With the quality players they have, not good enough. Zariski, I'll probably put them at F uh, along with those two. They, they finished well in the group. Gank, for me, I'm sorry, it's a failure. It's a failure for Gank because that they, they shouldn't be getting grouped. At Kukurachi, I'll put them like F, um, unfortunately. Um, and the group G, Aberdeen. Aberdeen, I thought, did decent. They, they gave it a good effort, but they fell short. So I won't be too critical for them. And AJK, obviously, yeah, it's, a, it's a D, it's an F. I'll put them like a B over Bresso by Kukurachi because they got zero points. But yeah, I mean. Not really much to say there. And Norgeland, um, I thought they were very, very unlucky. Very unlucky. They managed to just about miss through um, by the skin of their teeth. And it was so sad because I wanted to see them advance. So I'm going to put Norgeland. Honestly, I'm going to put them C. I thought that they did the best they could. Uh, they just felt unlucky. And then I'm, I'm Spartak Trinova is definitely a, a failure. It's definitely a, a failure. So there you guys go, man. That is my conference league tier list for you guys, man. I ranked through. All of the teams there, guys. So, if you guys did enjoy, so please remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think of my tier list. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree with me? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So, please run like and subscribe and peace, man.